Hey guys, what's going on? Uh, it's Thursday? Thursday. Um, like I'm making this video because this just kind of bothers me. Um, everybody knows the guy that stays out here on Manchester Road with his cart and all of the stuff and everybody gives him food. And then you, you know, some of the people know the stuff that he does, you know, throwing stuff in the sewer. There's all kinds of st rumors and stuff, but He's gotten through stuff through Wooster, kicked him out, Wadsworth kicked him out, Barberton kicked him out. They were giving him camping tickets. I know he said he got like five of them. He told me five camping, illegal camping tickets. And uh, then he could, wanted to use my phone to go to court about it. And I told him I couldn't let him use my phone. I just, I, I, I was, I just didn't want to let him use my phone. And I, he wanted to call Barberton court. So he got so mad, was cussing at me, and then went around the corner, dropped his card, flipped it over. Had to pick everything up to him, like a half hour to get it back together. And I just avoided the guy. He was cussing at me, yelling at me. I've heard of him doing that to people. He did to me. And the thing that bothers me is he's no different than I am. I mean, he gets a check just like I do. Um, he chooses to be out here and blame this, the government and everybody else on what they don't have housing for him. You know, I get it. The homeless people have problems. And there's a lot of homeless people around here that don't have stuff. And people are a lot worse off than I am. And I know when I, I lost my legs and my job and everything I had, and I was sitting at home in the hospital bed with stitches on both my stumps. That stitch or staples coming all the way up, my groin all the way across, all the way down around there. I mean, it was awful. I mean, I couldn't move without it hurting. And I was fortunate enough that I had friends and people that I must have treated okay that still let me stay in the house that I stayed in. My slumlord was really cool and waited till I got back paid from my short-term disability to pay him my rent and give me a roof over my head. And the slumlord thing's a joke. My landlord's really cool. He's a good friend of mine. But uh, anyway, what I'm saying is, is I had a lot of you guys that helped me. A lot of you guys. I mean, it was unbelievable the support I got from all my friends out there. And it really helped me at a time when I wasn't getting any money coming in. I went from work and making great money to in the hospital for three months with three surgeries, or 11 surgeries, and lost both my legs, and get sent home to just like, I didn't know what to do. I had a hospital bed, I'm sitting in a house, I had neighbors bringing me food, friends bringing me food. I mean, if it wasn't for you guys, man, it would have been, so, it could have been so much worse. And, you know, I've heard a lot about this guy's story, and I've seen him on YouTube, and uh, he's a mean, he's a real mean guy, and he's getting away with what he's getting away with over here on Manchester Road because it's Coventry Township. It's a township, unlike Barberton, Worcester, and all of them, and they don't know what to do is what I'm being told. All the neighbors can't stand up being there. He uh, He's parked three foot off the road. He's got lots of people to bring him food, and we've all seen him take the boxes of food over here to this dentist office on the corner, and he throws all of his stuff in the dumpster. You know, that's not his dumpster. That's that company's dumpster. I don't know what the guy, you know, if the guy even knows he's doing it, I don't, you know, I don't get into all that. But I'm just making this video because it really bothers me that he's getting away with it like this. I mean, you, you know the guy's got to go poop and pee. He's been there like a month and a half. He's got to go poop. I mean, we all poop. And I seen him this morning over here taking the lid off a dumpster, or off of a bucket, throwing it in that guy's dumpster. And then he came over here to this drain that does not work. It's full of crap, dirt. I mean, there's nothing goes through there. And I'm not saying it was his urine and feces he threw in the dumpster, but that's from him, whatever that is. It looks like toilet paper and liquid. See, that's what he did. I saw him do this. And that to me looks like the bucket is his, his crap bucket, okay? And that's what this guy's been doing a month and a half. He's been staying here. And all you people stop and give him food and feel bad for him. And he literally will take the food when you leave in the boxes and all the crap right over here to this guy's dumpster in the corner and dump it in there. I've never seen the guy say anything to him. I don't know if he even knows he does it, like I said. But, I mean, eventually something's going to happen. He's got a loophole here where he knows that they're not going to do anything. But, uh, I've never seen the sheriff's or anybody there that's what's around here but uh, I've seen that at Division of Wildlife truck or whatever he was over there one time and uh, all the neighbors knows what goes no they know what goes on here and 
I know everybody needs help. I needed help. And you guys all helped me. And this guy's had plenty of opportunity. He, people have gotten him jobs. He lost a job for being mean to people. He had an apartment. Lost that for being a, a jerk. Had a van. He's just doing this on purpose and using, blaming everybody else. The government. Just like a drug addict blames everybody else for their situation. It's kind of the same thing. The guy might have mental problems. Yes, obviously he does. We all do. I have mental problems. I mean, damn, I lost my career. All I got, and you know, I don't have shit, really. Um, that's why I'm trying to do this bus thing. To try to get myself to have money to be able to be more comfortable living life instead of being so broke paying for a house. I mean, I'm on a, on a, a budget, too. He gets a check. He's got money. He saves his money. He's got a lot of money. That's a fact, Jack. And it just bothers the crap out of me that he's been there for like a month and a half and has some people, that, so many people that feel bad for him when they stop. You get people that want to talk to him and ask him questions about why he's there and stuff. They'll get a chair out. They'll sit with him for an hour. And you'll hear him yelling and getting mad and saying about what they won't do for him and this and that. I mean, it's, it, that's what it's all about to him. And uh, it just kills me. It kills me because he found a loophole. He's got a spot here in Coventry where... He can sit there three foot off the road, gets his tarp, covers everything up, and he lays there and sleeps all night. Goes poop and pee in that bucket, goes over here to this guy's dumpster, dumps it in the dumpster, dumps his pee and stuff in that uh, sewer that doesn't work, and uh, and gets away with it. It just drives me crazy. But, I mean, yes, we all, everybody's like, well, he's mental, he's got problems, and they don't help mental people. We're all mental. We're all mental. You're all mental. Shit. Come on. <laughs> Peace.